here. Hey guys, we're skiing here. <laughs> uh, let's see here. I think I'm on like week 27 now. Where are you at, Al? God, I don't know. Like, I'm like 17 months out. Yeah. Whatever, however many weeks that is. Okay. Uh, how much have you lost in total so far? Mm, I've lost like 315 pounds. 318 pounds, actually. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, uh, so, you were like, oh, you've lost 95. Well, I had lost a little, and then I have gained a little bit back, so it's not 95 anymore. Mm. It's closer to 90, but... So I've lost around 90, and you've lost 300 plus, which is awesome. Here we are, skinnier. Never thought it would kind of, I'd get here. Because, you know, like, you know, months ago, you think, like, I want to lose weight now. I want this to happen now. I'm miserable now. I want this to all fall off. But, you know, every week you lose a little bit, you lose a little bit, and then here you are, you know? Yep. Um, somebody had mentioned a few video back, a few videos back, are you happier now? Are you happier now? Am I happier? I am, oh my god, I am so much happier, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, he has to tell me, like... I was miserable. Yeah, you were not a, a happy fat person. fat person. I was miserable. And, uh, yeah, I'm a lot happier. Um, do you think I'm happier? I don't know, are you? I don't know, I think I am. I think you are. You're. Well, I was out. Oh, so I was out uh, a few days ago for like a birthday thing for me, and we went out and. Uh... Dude, you remember how miserable we were when we were fat? Yeah, we never would go anywhere. But so this of party. Of course, you're happier. Oh my god. So man. we went out and um, and I wore these like faux leather pants because the only kind of pants I can wear are like stretchy pants because my butt just really shrank and I'm still top heavy so it doesn't look right so I just always wear stretchy pants and then I wore this shirt that kind of went over my butt a little bit and I'm standing with the other girls and I'm the skinniest one by far like the other girls are just so much heavier than me and I just felt like ah! <laughs> like I'm so skinny and I have a couple funny pictures to show you guys of us out oh, these are them right here So we're very, um, I don't think we, I, I was, I kind of had some trouble that night. I, I stupidly had some bread and it kind of started to ruin the night. I couldn't eat any of my food. I kept kind of going, anybody want any scallops? I kind of started giving away all my food. But sometimes if you just wait like 20, 25 minutes, you're, you kind of recuperate. And I had gone to the bathroom and got rid of that bread. And, uh, so after like 25 minutes, I was like, shit, where's all my food? Like, fuck, like I'm hungry now. I'm feeling better. Um, but yeah, you have to kind of, I don't know, you just, and I started to kind of freak out because you're out in public and you eat something you're not, you shouldn't eat and you're like, shit, like, am I going to like start throwing up on all these people and they're going to mm. see like all the crap I have to go through and. I gotta say, I never, I don't have that problem you have. I don't, I don't throw up. I don't get dumping. I don't get frothing. Like I'm, good, I think, good I for think. You. I think I've only I think I've only thrown up like maybe two or three times since I got surgery over a year ago, a year and a half ago. Yeah, I still throw up, but I I kind of go and make myself throw up because I know it's gonna be like it's gonna be a night ruiner if I don't. <laughs> um, let's see here. Uh, oh yeah, you were mentioning that you're like wow, like this is just a tool. This is just a tool. What are you blabbing about? Uh, oh, that, that the surgery works for a year, maybe. And then after after that... Are that you still, time, you're still losing, right? Even though it's... Oh, yeah, I'm still you. losing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But you're like hardcore gym crazy yeah, guy now, but right? I'm exactly, yeah, I'm going to the gym five, six. That last week, I went to the gym every day. And I lift weights uh, three or four times a week. And then on the other days, I do about an hour, hour and a half of cardio. And, um, but yeah, but the, the thing about it being a tool is that 
you don't you get that honeymoon period as they call it for about a year after surgery and you gotta make sure that you learn good habits in that time mm -hmm. and that you um you know you learn about measuring your food and tracking it and logging it or uh you know not eating you know crap uh because after a, after a certain period, your pouch will expand, your intestines are going to get used to eating uh, fat and sugar, and you're going to be able to eat more of it. Your appetite is going to increase. Yeah. So if you didn't learn during the time where it was easy for you to not eat crap and, you know, do all these things, if you didn't learn good habits in that time, then, you know, you're going to fail. Everybody who fails, everybody who gets surgery, who I know at least, who gets surgery and then gains their weight back or at least some of their weight back, it's because they didn't exercise, they're not weighing, they're not tracking their food, they're not tracking their weight, they're eating, you know, the same bullcrap that they were eating before surgery. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. the idea that, have, that getting weight loss surgery is a, a cure-all or a miracle or an easy way out or a cheat or anything like that, it's all bullshit. Excuse my French. Yeah, I, I remember it's... when we were like kind of doing our research for this surgery. Uh, I don't know how many, if it was like years ago or whatever, but I remember finding these videos of women just so angry at their surgeon because they weren't losing anymore and they were gaining and I could totally see myself gaining with this surgery I could I could totally yeah if I if I, I could, wasn't obsessive about logging my food and about not eating crap and everything I yeah I'd start I would, I would have of, stopped losing a long time ago and I'd probably be gaining right there now. are a lot of delicious mushy things that I just could constantly be eating all the time. You know? I don't even get dumping, so I could, I could, you could, yeah. I could be eating pizza, ice cream, all that kind of yeah. stuff. Yeah, put some yeah. Oreos in a blender. Oh, I could. Think oh yeah, of I a know. Lot some, of ideas. I, I know somebody who did that actually. Who, yeah. Who, they got weight loss surgery. They lost a bunch of weight, and then they started drinking Oreo sh ice cream shakes, and gained everything back, and then some. Mm. Yeah, it's a scary. It scares the hell out of me, frankly, and that's that's really what keeps me motivated. It's the fear of going back. So I was watching a few of the videos I had done in the last few weeks, or maybe even earlier than that. I don't know, and um, I was talking about drinking and how he, you had started kind of drinking and uh, I watched other videos with this other woman was saying oh my weight loss program and the surgeons and everything they, they all tell us don't even drink in the first yeah. year and so I started seeing you drinking and you started buying like wine and you were mixing with fruit and I was like oh shit Making sangria, yeah. I was getting kind of worried but then I noticed you've stopped drinking yeah. you're not drinking I just I get I get these I get in these moods and, you know, I, I found that I enjoyed having a glass of sangria once or twice a week, so I started doing that. And then I got bored with it, and now I'm doing uh, those Starbucks light Java chip frappuccinos. How many calories is in a large one? Uh, like a big one of those is 280 calories, which is a lot of calories, and only 7 grams of protein, which is almost nothing for 280 but you calories. gotta squeeze squeeze in those little treats yeah exactly or some, nights, about. <laughs> or, or some nights i'll have uh, uh like uh, those uh, pringles makes uh, fat free chips which are like half the calories as their regular chips and yeah. i'll eat those every once in a while or i'll do a microwave popcorn every once oh, in a yeah. while it's mainly carbs the, you know, it's, the it's microwave smells like microwave popcorn <laughs> so bad i'm like oh yeah. Um, oh yeah, so what are the things that we eat? Because there are people who ask us like what we're eating, and and I'm sure if they t if we told them what we ate, they'd be like, really? I just what? ate uh, like yeah. fried chicken tenders. Yeah, today. we eat like a lot of fried. As chicken. long as you fit it into your your macronutrients and your calories for the day, you know, give yourself some pleasure every once in a while. Yeah, we we get a lot of like little chicken. Yeah, we we, we go to like Kentucky Fried Chicken, and we get like lots of. Uh, we don't get like a bucket or anything, but we get a lot of chicken strips, 
And, uh, but we don't get, like, macaroni cheese and all that stuff. Like, maybe I'll get, like, some mashed potato with it, and he'll get some coleslaw. We'll go to Chipotle, but I'll get the bowl without rice. You know, I'll just get beans and lettuce and, you know, like, you kind of give yourself some pleasure, but, you know, try to make it so that it's not such a huge calorie hit. I know? think for us, we really just, there's really no more bread in the house. There's no more rice. There's no more... Even you, you don't even eat mashed potato. Me, I gotta, I don't know, I, I like, like my mushy carbs every once oh, in a while. Oh, I love mashed potato. I love oh, carbs. Okay. That's why I don't eat it, because I know that if I, if I take a bite, I'm gonna have to eat the whole fucking thing. I gotcha. Yeah. I got some sushi waiting in the refrigerator for me. Oh, sushi, yeah, that's a good... We kind of sick of it because we overdid it for a while, and now... Like, like sashimi, that's where you have, like, the, just the raw yeah, fish. Yeah, just without, the raw fish, no rice. the rice, yeah. You had, you had sushi, like, a few months after surgery... And uh, he had, like, you know, that leftover day-old sushi, and the rice just became really sticky and, you know, uh. yeah, It got stuck right here, and, and I had to he, throw it. That was the first time I threw up, yeah. And you didn't want to eat sushi anymore. And then I didn't eat sushi for, like, six months, yeah. Um, what else do we do? You, oh, you, you started doing Atkins frozen dinners. Like the Not ratio. all of them. There's, just, Not there's all only of them. one of them that's kind of okay for Okay, my, and then, you know. you know, those little chicken things with the... What do you call those guys? Chicken things? The chicken things with the broccoli and cheese inside. Oh, yeah. There's these, uh, there's like chicken breasts that they sell frozen and they, they have broccoli and cheese inside. Uh, who makes those? Um, I don't know. They sell them at, at the super at market basket. I, I guess not everybody's going to have market baskets near their house. Yeah. Oh, Walmart has them. Doesn't the super Walmart have it? Yeah. yeah. I think I've showed people what they are. Yeah, there you go. Um, I don't know. Anything else you want to add? Not really. Hmm. You gotta lift weights. You gotta definitely do strength training. Because otherwise, yeah, you have to. Because otherwise, the weight you lose is is fat, but also a bunch of muscle, and you're gonna end up looking like crap. And you're gonna have like way more loose skin than you would if you lift weights. I wish I could have the oomph to do that. I don't know. It took me a while, though. Like it, I started going to the gym maybe about a month after surgery. and Or maybe six weeks, something like that. I started going to the gym, and it took... It, it was maybe three or four months before... There's a mosquito in here. Oh, is there? Or something, I don't know. It was maybe three or four months before I started, before I stopped like having nightmares about going to the gym. It, it, it was tough the first couple of months. But then one day I'm like driving home from the gym and I'm like smiling and just feeling all happy and like euphoric and I don't know, ever since then I've been enjoying it. It's fun. like a switch flip one day. You just got to keep at it. Oh my god, I wish I had that. I, I don't know. Like... You just got to keep at it. Mm. I, that's what I did. You remember how much I hated it. You had to drag me to the gym at the beginning, remember? Yeah. And now I'm dragging you. I don't know. For me, I just... Either it was when I had low iron, I just felt really tired and I couldn't do it. And then with this whole... I had like a bladder infection and then I was feeling really tired and fainty and crappy. I just feel like I'm just always tired. I just have the energy to do it. I don't know. Yeah, that's another thing. For the longest time, I was so tired. Remember, I would take naps during the day, which I never did. I just took one today. It was awesome. Yeah. Oh, let's talk about constipation. So, uh, I, I don't drink enough water, and I get constipation. He drinks tons of water and still gets constipation. And, like... He was the most regular guy before surgery, and now I think because you do too much, you eat too much protein, and yeah, but you eat a lot of vegetables it too. Plugs you up. No, not really. Yeah. I don't eat that many. I no, because vegetables are basically carbs with no protein. <laughs> so, so I just I don't eat a lot of them. Well, sometimes I'll see you with like a frozen bag of vegetables, yeah, no, like yeah, I'll yeah, the day, yeah, because I just... you know I I'll feel guilty like it'll be a week and I haven't had you know any vegetables at all, so I'll. I'll throw in some frozen vegetables. And also, they fill you up, and they're not a lot of calories, so 
They yeah, are but good, they make but... you stink. Yeah, he's got do. a case of the bad farts. Whenever Those I eat vegetables, goddamn. They say like with the whole gas thing after surgeries, some people can get like really really smelly ones, and also they're kind of caused by your quantity of foods going up. You're eating too much. Because we know somebody who's gained a lot after surgery and he's like, oh, my, your farts are going to smell. And we're like, what are you talking about? Because in the beginning we weren't eating that much. But this man was eating like, he's, to get to that point where he's gained that much, he must have been eating yeah, he's way probably, more. He, he, he had lost like 230 pounds, I think. And he's probably gained back like half of that, like 110, 120 pounds. I just remember him at a, a barbecue of ours, and I remember seeing how much he was eating. And I remember him even coming up to me and whispering, like, you know, put some of that pasta on my plate. And I felt like, like I was giving, like a, like crack a to crack a, to, to a, yeah. yeah. And I was like, attic. like he was asking me so that when I put on his plate, his wife wouldn't get mad at, him, mad at him. But I did it anyway because I'm like, I don't, I don't know. What the hell are you supposed to do, you know? I don't know. Um, I just didn't give him that much. <laughs> yeah, it's it's that, you know. I know, we know a couple of people. Yeah. Who, you know, They're who going... lost a bunch of weight and then started creeping back up. And that scares the living crap out of me. And that's, that's like the main thing that keeps me focused and, you know. And I think for me, the only thing that really keeps me focused is just that you're like my rock and you're really like... No. Oh. no, that you're like so, uh, I don't know, you're so, um, into Hardcore. this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're just really, you remind me to do what I have to do, and I don't know, like, I feel like everybody needs one of you. <laughs> you gotta, do this it, and do that. It, you need that. You need to, you know, you need to become your own, uh, you know, drill sergeant or whatever. You have to... Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, I'm I. I it wasn't even a year, and my appetite started going up significantly. Significantly. That's when you started buying right? like the popcorn, and you started buying vegetables because yeah. you had to fill up. I that had hole. to fill up yeah. exactly. I I was hungry all the time. Your body will rebel at some point, and it'll start asking for more food, and your pouch will get bigger, and you'll be able to handle more food. Your intestines will start to be able to handle fat and sugar better. So if you're not careful, I still feel like I live in this bubble, and I'm going to be able to like, I don't know. Like whenever I eat bread or anything that, when I chew it and it becomes kind of like this big gummy bear in my stomach, I get kind of sick and I don't want to eat anymore. And I'm like, in a way, I'm happy of that feeling because I'm like, I shouldn't be eating that crap anyway. And so it's like a nice, I'm, I'm happy for it. But I'm like, shit, one day maybe this will go away and I'll be able to eat all this crap again. And um, I don't know. Like, I've got a big pile of, like, oversized clothes that i got to get give away to some people. And my closet's now, like, filled with, like, size, like, large and medium clothes. And it's just, like, I've been there before, you know? Maybe, maybe not this skinny, but pretty close to it. Saying to myself the same exact thing, I'm not going to, like, leave you, this. You've got down to 160. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At this some this point. was a long time ago, though. Yeah, so. But I remember saying to myself, "Oh, I'm, you know, this is. I want to stay here. I feel great here." And then, you know, it didn't last. And so you, you know, you. I think you got to keep that in the back of your mind that, that uh, scare yourself enough that you know, that you can kind of stick with this and you know still be good. But knowing, but, you know, like, but every week you're always freaking out thinking that, like, this is it. I'm not going to lose anymore. <laughs> yeah. Like, every week he's got to, like, oh, my God. Every, yeah, every, because every couple of days, every 10 days or every two weeks or so, I'll hit a plateau where for three, four days I won't lose any or I'll gain a little bit and then I'll lose slowly and gain again. And I start to freak out and I, you know, rationally I tell myself, like, don't worry, you've been here before. Just keep doing what you're doing. You're going to keep losing. But uh, I don't know, at some level, I'm just freaking out like, shit, is this it? All right, is this the point at which I'm not losing anymore? But then I, you know, then I go and I lose, you know, five pounds in three days. And 
and then I'll you know restart my loss again. It'll start to drop, but yeah. So right now I'm at like 165, and I want to get to like 140. So I still, what is that, 25? 25 pounds. I, I think that's pretty damn doable after all I've lost so far. Um, I'm hoping I'll be able to get to that before the year is, you know, from surgery is up. Um, do you still, how much more do you want to keep losing? I want to lose as much as I can. I want to get, you know, I think if I get to 205, I'm at, okay, so I started at 546. That was my heaviest. Uh, the day of my surgery, uh, of my surgery, I was 510. Uh, and right now I am 228. And if I get to 205, I'll have, I'll be like a normal BMI. So that's like my immediate goal right now. But even after that, I want to keep going. Maybe get down to, I don't know. 180, 190, and then when I, once I get that low, then I'll start bulking. I'll mm -hmm. start, you know, lifting weights to build muscle. Because oh, if you can't build muscle as you're, if you're eating at a at a deficit, if you're not eating enough calories, like you need to eat more calories in order to for your muscles to grow. So the point of lifting while you're losing weight is to preserve the muscle you already have, but you won't you won't really build that much extra muscle. So I want to get down really low and then build muscle back up. Work your way up. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I got to be more of a gym nut. I don't know. That's my... That and drink more water. Those are my two things that I'm working on. And take your pills. And take my pills. Yes. But you're perfect. You no, don't to change a no, thing. No, no, no. I don't, do, I don't take my pills either. I forget all the time. All right. I guess that would be it for our little video here. Squat and deadlift. Yes. <laughs> do it. And eat your protein. Yes. <laughs>